Are you thinking about becoming an esthetician but you have a lot of questions? Stay with us. I'm going to take you through my journey of 15 wonderful years of being an esthetician and I'm going to give you some tips so you can make the right decision. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Monica with MH Divine Beauty. I have been an esthetician for over 15 years and today I'm going to take you through my journey of 15 wonderful years in the beauty industry as an esthetician. If you're new to my channel, welcome and I hope you find this video helpful to you and I can answer some of your questions. I want to tell you my story of how I became an esthetician, how I found my reason to be an esthetician. Um, once upon a time, um, I was living in Lake Tahoe and right after I graduated from high school, I started suffering from acne. It wasn't a bad acne, thank God, but it was uncomfortable, you know. Um, I didn't know how to apply makeup, I didn't know how to cover it, how to take care of it. My mom bought some products from different companies. Some of them helped me, some of them didn't help me at all, some of them I was allergic to it. Um, but still, even though the ones that helped me, I still have these little breakouts you know all the time and I, I i it was it was uncomfortable so one time i was talking to my friend my coworker, and and she mentioned something about glamour shots and i'm thinking what is a glamour shot you know and in, in the 1990s everybody was having glamour shots and um and i and she explained to me we do your makeup and we take some professional pictures and um so i thought you know I, I, I want to do it because I want to see my, my face with no acne. So I went to her house and she was doing my makeup. While she was doing it, um, she said, you know, I'm a beauty consultant for this company uh, and we have really good skincare. Would you like to try it? And I'm thinking, well, you know, I have nothing to lose because I tried two or three different companies and nothing worked for me. Um, some of them did a little bit, but not great. So I thought, I thought I have nothing to lose. So I tried their um, skincare and I love it. Um, within a month, I didn't have any acne. So I loved it so much that I joined the company. I um, recruited some people under me. I went all the way to the level of uh, director and qualification. So uh, I start, you know, getting into the ingredients. I start getting into um, makeup. So I knew at that point, I knew that I will, I, I like to apply makeup. I, I like to do bridal makeup. I like to do, like if you have a, um, an event, I can, I can do your makeup. I love that. So that was my big why I, I became an esthetician because I wanted to change people's lives just by, by doing their makeup bringing back their self-esteem just like she did to me. So that's how I found my big why to become an esthetician. I knew that I wanted so bad to do makeup that I started my own bridal business. And I was doing good, you know, with my friends, family, but I wanted to do professionally. So I started looking for a school that offered that kind of training. I wanted to do professional. I wanted to, to have my own business. So I looked for schools. I, I went to two or three different schools and I took the tours and I asked so many questions and I finally found the one that worked for me. In the state of Nevada, um, you have to have 600 hours. So you have to know um, in your own state how many hours are required to take the state board um, exam to become an esthetician. So now, when you go out there and look for a school, do your research, um, call to different schools, set up an appointment for a tour, ask, um, what they can offer to you, how much does it cost, ask them if they have uh, financial aid available, if this school is a part-time or full-time, because if you have a, another job, it will be really good to go to school that they allow you to, to do a part-time just like I did. 
um, I was I was being full time in my job and I was doing part time at school. That's why it took me a little longer. Usually they will take you about four to six months if you do it full time. For me, it took me about, I think, nine months to do it, to finish it. But you know what? It was worth it. It was so worth it because now I can do what I love at the same time I have my other jobs. One question that you have to ask them and is very important is that if they offer job placement after you finish the school, after you get your license, that will help you to get your first job and just get into the business. And after that, you can you know, look for a better spa, better salon or, or whatever is it that you, that you wanna do. But um, ask them that. Some, some schools offer, some, some schools they don't offer that. If they don't, then you have to you know, go around and apply yourself. If, if they do, they help you, they, they give you uh, recommendations of um, you know, spas or, or salons where you can go and apply. So try to choose a well-known school. Um, something that you know gives you the confidence that you're not going to be in the middle of your training like two or three months into it and one day you go to school and the school is closed um, so you don't want to do that because then you're going to have a headache you're going to be losing a lot of money so try to find a, a reputable school how important is continued education it's so important you if you just go to school and get your your license and you stay with that you're not going to make any money you're not going to be good at it um it's very very important that during school and after school when after you graduate you take classes advanced classes for peelings for micro uh, dermabrasion for waxing for brazilian waxing i don't know if right now school teaches you uh, how to do brazilian waxing um, when I went to school, they didn't teach me that. They just taught me how to wax eyebrows, face, legs, arms, back, um, but they never taught me um, how to do a Brazilian wax, so I have to take extra classes. It's totally up to you if you want to get um, advanced education. So it's very important. If you decide to go to, um, to this journey, it's very important that you love what you do because then you're gonna want to find out more about classes, uh, products, new techniques, and you always want to be on top of it. At school, you're going to see all your classmates and um, hopefully they're going to be so nice to you and they're going to be friends forever. Uh, but at the same time, you want to be different. You want to do something that sets you apart from them. So what I did is in my kit, that the kit is provided by the school. I mean, you pay for it, uh, but they give you only just the basic uh, products that you're gonna need. I added um, aromatherapy oils. So when I was doing a facial, I, I always put, you know, a little drop of um, lavender or citrus oil so they can smell it. And my clients, I call them my clients because they were my clients, <laughs> um, they loved it. And every time they come over for a facial, they will ask for me. So now, speaking about this, when you are at school, well, the first month or two months, it depends on the school, um, you're gonna just study from your book. And then later on, you're gonna be able to practice with each other, um, doing waxing, applying makeup, everything that you're supposed to know as an esthetician. And later on, you will be able to work on clients. So these clients, you're not gonna get paid, okay? Um, you're gonna be working for free, but don't, don't look at it like, that way. Uh, you wanna practice, you wanna get better. So practice every time you can. Uh, when I went to school, a lot of uh, you know my classmates didn't want to do acne facials, and which is, was was great for me because you know that was my thing. That was the main reason why I started to be an esthetician, and I I get to do all the acne facials, and and that helped me so much. I learned so much from that, and I practiced that I I became really good at it. So, um, and I didn't care if I didn't get paid. But guess what? In my school, I don't know now how it works, but at my school, I was able to get tips. So I was doing really good with tips. And that, that money that I got from, uh, from my clients, you know, those tips, I, I put it on the side and I started investing in my kid. I, I made my kid even better. I, um, I got better skincare. I was using my own skincare to all my clients. I put some uh, aromatherapy oils in it. I did scrubs that we didn't have in my kit. So all those little things set me apart from my classmates. 
And every time those clients came back for a facial, they will ask for me. And uh, some of them, they even give me their phone number. So I'll let you know, you know, what day I was going to be there because I, they knew I was just a part time. So, um, you know, we, I became really good friends with a lot of them and they even follow me wherever I went after I graduated. So um, you have to look for these little things of, uh, you know, how to make it better. If you really love this profession, you're going to find a way to do it and a way to set you apart from um, other estheticians and, and other uh, professionals. So you have to, that's, that's why you have to find your why, your reason why you want to do this. While you find it, everything else is easy. I know um, it can be expensive, you know, for some people, but if you think about it, it's not expensive at all. You're spending, I don't know, 10, 15,000 for your um, classes. But if you go to college, you're going to be spending 60, $70,000 a year uh, for your career while you're spending only 15,000 here. And that's what you really like to do. So it's, you know, it's just don't be afraid. They offer financial aid or go to a bank and, and ask for a loan and just pay it. Just keep paying. And, and you know, at the end of the day, you're going to love it. You're going to be so happy doing what you like. And my biggest advice is never stop learning. There's always something new, always new products, new companies, new techniques, new everything. So don't stop learning. Okay, let's talk about money. How much money can you make as an esthetician? Well, you know what? It's totally up to you. The sky is the limit. It depends on what you want to do, where you want to work. You can work um, in a salon, you can work in a spa, you can work um, in a dermatologist's office. If you work in a doctor's office, um, you might get salary plus, you know, uh, tips or just salary. Some of them don't allow you to get tips. You can work in a spa, um, earning commission, like maybe 60, 40. Um, you can work um, in a beauty salon that, that, you know, gives you just commission or gives you a small salary plus commission and tips. So it's, it's totally up to you. For me, I knew I didn't want to work for anybody. So from the beginning, I knew I was going to be solo. I was going to be my own boss, setting up my own schedule time. And, but at the same time, if you, if you go that way, you are responsible for everything. You need to get your own bed, your own supplies, your own equipment. You have to pay for a, a room. You're responsible to do advertising because nobody else is going to do the advertising for you. So you're responsible for everything, but you are in control. You um, set up your own appointments, the days that you want to work, the days that you don't want to work, you will go on vacation at any time. And uh, it's great. But remember, you are responsible for everything, the good and the bad. Don't settle. Don't, don't be like, you know, I went to school, I have my license, I'm an institution and I can do anything I want. So no, try to get better. Um, get better techniques for uh, waxing, massage, facials, extractions. Uh, get better in, in different um, ways to, to make your clients feel comfortable, feel nice, feel relaxed. So try to do something extra for them and you're not going to be disappointed. I am so blessed of having the best clients in the world. They've, they've been following me for forever, everywhere I go. I hope that will be your case. If you've been thinking about being an institution and you have a lot of questions and I hope I can, I, I answer some of them. If you have more questions, write it down below in the comment section and um, don't be afraid. If you're an esthetician, welcome and thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Um, you've been doing this for a long time or you just became an esthetician, write it down on the comment section. Um, if you have any tips, just put them on there. Um, you know, everybody can benefit. Uh, we're here to learn from each other and we, we're here to support each other. So uh, if you have any more questions, give me a call. I put all my information down below. This is a beautiful, beautiful career where you have the chance to change people's lives, to help them to get a better self-esteem, to help them to relax more. Um, believe me, you're going to change people's lives. So don't be afraid. Go for it.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe down below and activate the bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. Have a wonderful week, I love you guys and I hope to see you soon. Bye!